What is up YouTube? Today I will be teaching you how to play uh, Fla Frank Sinatra's Fly Me to the Moon if you are a beginner on guitar. Now, um, there are only four chords you're going to need for this song, and one of them should already be one of the ones you already know. If you don't, lucky for you, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know in this video. Uh, at least how I would play this. Now, I'm not going to mention strumming pattern because that will depend on you and how you want to sing it. You can make it faster, you can make it... You know, it depends on you. It really depends on you. So I won't teach you any strumming patterns. But what I would personally do would be this. So down, beat, and then down. Anyway, uh, to the chords. Uh, you have a chord progression of A minor 7, D minor 7, G, and then a C add 9. This uh, final chord, this weird C, I'm not so sure if that's what it's called. But uh, I'm going to teach you um, what it looks like anyway and how it sounds like. So you're going to start off with an A minor 7, which is going to be your index finger on the 1st fret of the B string, B as in boy, and you're going to put your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the um, D string, D as in dog, and uh, together they should sound like this. Like that. And then the 2nd chord after that should be a D minor 7, which is going to be really easy to transition to because all you're going to have to do is you're going to go from um, the A minor 7 chord, you're going to bring your uh, middle finger one note down uh, to the bottom string, to the string under it, and then you're going to make your index finger press down on two different notes. So if anything, it's going to be the uh, first fret high E string, the first fret um, B, as in boy, string, and you're going to have your middle finger on the uh, G uh, string. So it's going to sound like this together. And then from there you're going to go to a G, uh, which is going to be your third, third fret ring finger on the high E string, your middle finger on the low E string, same fret, third fret, and uh, on the second fret, you're going to put your index finger on the A string. So it just sounds like this. Now this is the most basic G. There is another way, of course, to play G, but uh, because this is a beginner tutorial, this is the best possible way. The least fingers you're using, the easier it will get for you to uh, work around. And uh, even though it won't really sound as rich, I guess, as what um, you would expect, it's still a G sound. And then from there, you're going to go to a C add 9, which I don't know. Again, I'm going to say this again. I'm not so sure if that's what it's called. I'm not a professional. But um, it's very easy. All you're going to do is bring these two fingers down, two notes. One note, sorry, one note. You're going to bring it down one note, and you're going to remove the ring finger. So essentially, what you're going to be left is with is... A, um, middle finger don't take this as an offense guys this is I'm teaching you uh, you're gonna put your middle finger on the A string third fret and your index finger on the second fret of the D D is in dog string so it's gonna sound like this I mean you can also play it like this with your ring finger and your middle instead because this C chord actually came from the original C which would just have another finger on that note. You could play it like that, but it has a weird, more, um, I guess, mellow sound if you play the C at 9, like I said. Like that. It's pretty weird. Anyway, uh, so from there, what you are, now you already know how to play an A minor 7, a D minor 7, a G, and a C at 9. Now those are the four chords you're going to be using throughout the entire song. Um, except for the part where you're supposed to sing in other words you're going to want to remember that um, when you get to that part you have to instead of starting with an A minor for in other words it doesn't sound correct like in other words it doesn't work you're gonna do this instead in other words hold my hand so like that uh, so I'm gonna take you to a slower version uh, so you can watch me sing and play this. Uh, every single note should be there for around four beats, I guess. Fly me 
to the moon and let me play among the stars let me see yeah i guess it's four beats so uh count with me one two three four 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 now there are two verses in the song all you're gonna have to do is repeat that sequence okay remember there are um four i guess there are four different parts to play that in uh two of them are exactly the same they're going to be a minor seven d minor seven g and then c add nine and then you have the other pair which will be a d minor seven g c and then an a minor seven so um that's it all you're gonna do is move the a from the front to the back pretty easy so uh, i hope you learned something and now it's my turn to sing you the song play among the stars let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars in other words hold my hand in other words baby kiss me fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore All I adore In other words Please be true In other words In other words In other words I love you Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something. And uh, as you probably could tell, I changed a bit of the stuff there so I could put a little voice variation. You don't have to do that, but if you want to do that, in other words, I think I messed it up. Doesn't matter. Just you can do what you want. It's your guitar, your music, and uh, your pace of learning. So I hope you enjoyed this song. I hope you enjoyed in injured. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and I hope you uh, end with a new knowledge of sorts. Thanks for watching.